Good kitten, internet. He's being very purry today. Uh, it's been a bit uh, today. I, you can actually see what day and time it is right now. Uh, it's the 26th of September. It's Saturday. Um, I haven't been doing so well lately. Uh, <laughs> my kitty's being very loving to me. Not exactly out of the ordinary when I'm like this. I've had some pretty major mental badness. Um, and there is a chance I will have to stop the series for a while. Pause it, I guess you would say. Mostly because there's a lot of elements in this that are triggering for me. Um, and I don't know how well I'll be able to handle it. I'm actually doing much better today than I have been for we'll just go with most of this past week although i'm still not doing great on the whole keeping myself healthy this mug here of sparkling water is the first thing that i've had to drink today take a look at the time i've been up for 12 not 12 10 hours um and i've also not had anything to eat today that's probably because i ate too much yesterday so i wasn't feeling all that great Anyway, this kitty here is telling me that I should start. No, not really. He's telling me, please pet me more. Ow. Cat. Really, cat? <laughs> All right. I don't remember where we were. Um, hopefully I have audio capture working correctly. There's no audio in the beginning part, so I don't actually know. Just Yes, okay. Audio output capture is working. Um I was told that I needed to drop game volume a little bit more before, so I have. Um I'm currently at negative twenty two decibels, and my own voice is still at negative four. So that should be good. I'm actually still a little on the quiet side. It's because my microphone isn't in front of me. Hold on, let me move the microphone a bit. Apologies for any extra noise that you hear. Like so. Now, okay, I'm peeking in yellow. That's where I want to peek at. Isun is still being very curious and not wanting to settle down at all. Keep in mind, right before I started, he was just curled up asleep. Uh, do I need to make a copy of my memory card yet? No, oh, that's right. I have two memory cards that I can play around with, so it's less of a problem. Um, although I think I... Hold on a moment. I'm going to actually make a copy of this memory card. There we go. Copy of the memory card made. <clears throat> actually, still level three. That's right. We were going toward Mount Chug Chug. Because that makes sense for a name. I don't want to get a copyright flag, so let's skip the intro. Speaking of, I haven't actually linked to intro videos yet, have I? I keep forgetting to do that. I'm really thirsty. Again, it's almost as though I haven't had anything to drink today. Alright. I have no idea what direction I'm supposed to be going in Chug Chug. I have not looked at my previous videos or anything. Well, I went the correct direction. What a hassle. What a losing proposition. It's dangerous here. There's a good chance terrorists are hiding in the mountains here. I already know that. <clears throat> I mean, isn't it three exclamation points are a sure sign of insanity? What in the world is eight exclamation points then? That's why I said I know. <laughs> this one is... Hmm, so that's what you mean. I get it now. A terrorist! Not a monster confronting humans. The thread told Antonora. She said someone's been following us. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? 
proper introduction, of course. Ptolemy, a special cocktail squad member. So, um, something I should note, if you haven't already picked up on a couple of names, uh, or I should say, if you have picked up on a couple of names, uh, you may have recognized some of these names. Uh, Ptolemy, Antonora, they are aspects of one of the layers of hell from Dante's Inferno. The entire terrorist organization Odessa is based off of that naming scheme. I love the reference. A plus job. And I'm not being sarcastic. And Kitty went away. I, uh, there's Maya. It's like, I don't know where Maya's at right now. There we go. So this is the Odessa theme for reference. Wow, I've never seen how detailed Ptolemya is. I mean, his arm's clipping in and out of his kilt, but whatever. Or I could say, you all are in luck. I mean, you've got me for an opponent. Come on, show me what you've got. So if you noticed, he's saying that you're in luck because you have me as an opponent. That is to say, he is the weakest member, at least according to him. So, first thing that's going to happen is that Ashley is going to die. But, um, I might as well do the best that I can. Oh, I... Actually... Hey, Ashley. Um, can you use a bullet load on Brad? Because I kind of forgot. I don't normally use those so often, but... Jeez, what in the world? Two notifications in a row is a little strange. What's going on? Sorry. Ah, I'm getting PM'd, okay. Let me set you to silent for a moment. There we go. Okay. Um, so Lilka can now actually heal without having to do anything because she's level 10. I think I've mentioned that already. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so bullet load, Brad, right in the bazooka. That sounds wrong. Um, Brad is going to punch in the face. Actually, go ahead and smash hit Brad. And you know what, Loka? Go ahead and analyze. Which goes first, if you didn't notice. Ptolemya, level 12. So I'm not that far under. Yeah, it's a very useless analyze for bosses. Smash hit! Yeah! Iron Saber! Rudy's dead! I mean, Ashley's dead! Who would have guessed? It's almost as though he's level 3. Alright, so he didn't actually even get a chance to use the item. That's fine. Um, Actually, I'm going to have Loka use it. Because Loka's not going to be doing all that much damage until her force level gets higher anyway. Arm rounds reloaded. So yeah, that's the downside of Smash Hit, is that you don't get force points for punching somebody in the face. Which we need force points. Iron Saber! That dealt... Mm, it's actually a decent amount of damage. You only take three of those hits. It's a good thing I got my hit point up right when I did. Lock on. Bazooka. Luka, you just attack. Please get some force points. Zuka, boom. 783. Another Iron Saber. I don't know if Ptolemy has more attacks, mostly because I forgot to load up the guide before starting this. So I should be a little more conservative on healing. Brad looks like such a baby face in this version compared to what my, like, memory says. It's probably just the art style. And you just can't see it normally. 29. Ptolemy a dynamite! It's his arm.
decent. A mm, little concerned about Loco's health. Go ahead and Mystic a Healberry, Loka. Alright, how much damage does that do to Loka anyway? Yep, I was right to heal. Lock on, Bazooka. Loka, just heal yourself. It'll be fine. Start speeding up a little. So if you know, haven't noticed, the fast forward doesn't fast forward as much as it did for Wild Arms 1. Oh, dead. Cool. Um, that's because my computer's not capable of doing a high enough frame rate. Anyway, if Judica was your opponent, you'd all be toast right now. You were very lucky your opponent was sweet ol' innocent me. <sighs> well, it's time, isn't it? Don't want to get left behind. Peace. Chief and unlock special Cactus squad member Ptolemya. And that's the entire squad. Listen up. We're the Odessa special unit. Ptolemy and his fun friends! Don't mess with me, Ptolemy. <laughs> Even so, are you really gonna let them go? Weren't they the other group that who was trespassing in Illsvale? Remember, we saw them before when we were breaking Brad out of prison. Aren't they some vigilante force from a small town? They were girls in their group, too. Creepy. Should we shoot him here on the spot? We've got time to kill before the Varukias. Varukias heats up. Varukias is the name of the ship. Varukias? Varukias? Not sure. <laughs> no senseless killing. How many times do I have to tell you? Well, it looks like the Varukias is ready to departure. Let's go. Hey, hey, I haven't even finished my introduction. There are four of us. Odessa's special caucus. I keep... I have the T in the wrong spot when I'm pronouncing that, don't I? Cositus? Not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced now that I'm thinking about it. We're broadcasting clandestinely. Since we didn't have contact, let's at least do some bold propaganda. <laughs> Wait! Stretch out your arm and reach it, if you still have the strain. No, it's this voice again. They just walk away. Wow, that looks much better than what it did originally. I mean, sure, you can count the polygons, but still. That looks almost impressive. Well, that's going... Need a browser window. Who? Who's speaking to me? Who is it? So, that's a hint that there's more than just one inner voice going on. So, things are a little stranger than they first appear. Ah, uh, okay. Here we go. Opened up the guide again, because I had... Okay. Do, 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 do. Make sure that I am in the right spot. There we go. Shoot! Thought we had them, but they flew off. We can't even touch them. That's all too obvious. But it wasn't the only enemy flying machine that got in our way. Oh, what do you mean? 
the border problem. Know what I mean? <laughs> now I see. Very smart. Even if we had a plane there, the border would have stopped us. That's right! We are playing an RPG that actually has country borders. I think the only other one that I've played like that would be the Sokoden series. Um, and that's mostly because that's a very specific... There's good reasons why it's in that game. That series of games. If we had a plane there, the border would have stopped us. <laughs> we would have been in trouble for violating the airspace. Only outlaws can fly wherever they want, when they want. I don't understand. Even though we're doing the right thing, why do things like that have to get in our way? <laughs> People living live by closing their hearts tight. Walls of the heart become invisible lines which divide the world. This is what borders are. Not an inaccurate description, really. So, just as hearts are separated, so is one country from another. It's sad, but all we can do is work hard to change what we can. Don't fret over what you can't change. I have an idea about the matter. And remember, Irving's an asshole. You all wait until preparations are complete. Let's break up for now. I'm fast-forwarding Irving. Even fast forwarded, he looks slow. Oh, what do we do now? I don't have anything to do. I'll hang around here. Well, me too, I guess. Hey, Ashley, what about you? I'm gonna go head back to the town of Maria. Oh, yeah, you picked a pretty stone. You picked up a pretty stone. You gonna give that to Marina? Well, yeah, I think she'll like it. Will you tell me? Ashley, are you a Marina Lovers? What are you thinking about? Of course not! Two exclamation points. Not the sure sign of insanity yet. Okay, okay. Just checking. The what do you ask? I forget I asked. And we have control of our just Ashley. We have to be very careful not to get in any random combat. Because, um... We don't want to level up. So, save state. Arving. Nice typo there. Arving gained if you leave, eh? Oh, well, that's pretty rare for him. Uh, who, me? No, no, I wasn't eavesdropping. Nope, not me. Mm-mm. So, we are heading to the town of Maria. Now, keep in mind, we live in the country of Maria Bull, and everywhere that we've seen so far has been inside of Maria Bull. I've decided I'm only going to use one of the two memory cards. The reason why is, one, it takes a really long time to load these stupid memory cards as it is. And, two... Um, the way RetroArch handles memory cards by default is that these two memory cards are actually different formats. And I did back up the memory card, so. Alright. Just trying to leave. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yep. Every time. Time to spin the world! Whee! Someone's been bugging me. The leader of Odessa, the ones who made that declaration. I've seen his face before. I think he was some nation's military leader or the head of some related organization. Yeah, I guess we should probably talk to the other people that were back here. Now that I think about it. Even a champion of justice has to put food on the table. I've got the side job here. Only the legendary... Tamago... Messi? Meski? Could load more bullets. He really exists, that is. Ah, so that's the bullet loading person. Okay, good to know. Um, because I'm going to need to remember to load Brad's bullets next time I talk to him. Terrorist Radio Jack is also based on Empathite. 
Creating innovative devices like this requires creativity. It isn't easy to do. But Odessa did it. They're an enemy we must not underestimate, obviously. By the way, how are you all doing? Sir Valeria loves Fulgaia more deeply than than does anyone else. Translation. He doesn't show it, but he also adores his younger sister. Nope, that's the elevator. It's going to side passages. Because why have the chateau make any sense for organization? Running low on any items? If you're going on a long trip, now's the time to stock up. So yeah, we can buy items here too. Uh, unfortunately, we don't really need any. I could use a teleport gem to teleport to Maria Bull. Now that I think about, or to Maria. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Oh yeah, let's make a call. Hello, Ashley. Making good use of your time. Just don't go too far, okay? So yep, that's Maria. Maybe because I'm level 3, I might actually be able to cancel out of combat. Or, you know, I'm close enough where I don't have any random encounters. That's nice to you. Hey, dude! How's it going? Oh, hey, Tony. Oh, you too, Scott. Hiya, Tim. How you guys been? <laughs> Fit as a fiddle and raring to go. Of course, old Tim here has got other things on his mind. Huh, uh, Tony, don't tell him. Why not? After all, he's our buddy, right? <laughs> Tim is head over heels for some girl. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, yeah? Says who? All right, just settle down, both of you. I don't have time for this. All she did was talk to him. Now his head's in the clouds. I said you're wrong. Just wanted to thank her for what she did. <laughs> she was nice to you. Now you have a crush on her, right? No, you don't know Jack. Yeah, Jack's in another game. Knock it off already. Hey, Scott, do something about this guy, will you? In my humble opinion, Ashley is in a hurry. I'm on leave for a bit. Oh, you came back just because you're on leave? I don't think so. You came back to see Marina, right? Now, hold on a minute, Scott. I was just, I... You should have said so, dude. I wouldn't have held you up. Don't want you your precious time. You have to see her. You've got it all wrong. Marina and I, it, it's not like that between us. Just go, dude. I know you want to see her right away. Now, listen up, all of you. You got it all wrong. Huh, I hope it works out between Ashley and Marina. <laughs> You're not the aggressive type, so that girl's perfect for you. In my humble opinion, it seems Ashley is about to make a class change. Huh? A class change? What's that? <laughs> Marina, I'm back. Is it okay for you to be here? Aren't you on a mission? Oh, I'm on leave for a while, so, you know. If I knew you were coming, I would have prepared something. That's okay. Marina, I have something for you. Ooh, it's very pretty. What is it? It's called Empathite. They say it has the power to transmit thoughts. I don't know if this tiny piece can do that. Well, here. What? You mean... I want you to have it, Marina. Are you sure? That's why I came back. What do I need it for, anyway? 
Wow, this is great. Ashley, yeah? Thank you. I have control again. Um, Ashley? Oh, never mind. It's nothing. Thanks for the empathy. Right, Asin? Right. All right. We have control again. And we need to do a few things. Oops. I'm not even paying attention to where I'm going. I went up to Ashley's loft. Don't try to be a hero. Just come home alive and freeload even more. How awful. They showed the broadcast in a bucket. Where's the dignity in that? Yeah, it literally showed on every water surface on the planet. Spook the monsters and terrorists. I'm too afraid to leave town. All right. We actually need to upgrade Ashley's arm. Yeah, I can't reload because he's not with me. Um, so this needs to become higher ATP because we're going to have to use Ashley for a battle. And in order for that to work, we need at least 25 ATP. Uh, it's just now is a pretty good time to do that. Okay, so now we're done. Uh, we can head back. Hey, look. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd be here. It's almost as though Ashley told Lilka where he was going. What's up? Why do you two come together like that? We have to go back. Our next mission's been decided. Ashley. Don't worry. Everything will be all right, Maria. Uh, Marina. Sorry. Town of Maria and character name of Marina. I guess so. Besides, I have the stone now. With this, it'll be like I've never left. Bye. <laughs> I really want to know what the translation's actually saying for these things. As you can see, international cooperation is a serious problem. So I have letters from the King of Maria Bull asking for permission to operate in other countries. Remember, We've been in Mariabool the entire time. Uh, Mount Chug Chug is the first space that we went to that's like right on the edge of another country's territory, if I remember right. Sylvia Land is friendly with Mariabool, so we'll go there first. Your next mission is to take this letter to the Queen of Sylvia Land. How do we get to Sylvia Land from here? I'm saying Sylvia, it's Silva. Silva Land. Good to know. Well, use the life energy transporter called the Live Reflector. Do you remember what this is referencing? This is our very first Wild Arms 1 reference. The Live Reflector? You mean the lost technology? There's an old reflector southwest of here. I want you all to try to get it working again and secure a way to Silverland. Hmm. In other words, we're on our own, aren't we? Yeah, that's one way of putting it. Mm. I guess so. And where do we take this all-important letter? Silverland Castle is located in the center of the Sylvan Woods. Straight out of the live reflector. You won't have any problem finding it. However, you could be attacked by Odessa. Whatever happens... You must deliver that letter. We now have a letter. What's the asshole say? Good luck on your mission to Silverland. We have to do this before we can solve the border problem. Yeah, 
Yeah, you weren't eavesdropping because you would have heard that my leave's been canceled. That's Irving's bedroom. Yeah. I'm looking for Altesia. So yeah, I really like the name of Altesia. Um, she's not here right now. She might be down in the kitchen. Um, I really like the name. I didn't use anything but the name for my role-playing campaign. Um, Altesia is now one of the deities of the campaign setting. That was not the case when I had made up the NPC. My mistake. The ray line reaches there. That's why it's a suitable location for a live refactor. Remember the whole incident where um, the ray line got attacked? Well, that's actually the reference. Hoo yeah! Bam! Green! Momo said we should v vocalize when we do this. Well, looks like things are getting busy. But don't you try to have your wounds treated at an inn. Because it's free here. All right. Forgot we have the booty call now, and I haven't been using it here. Yeah, these doors are all locked. Should probably go back to Maria Bull just so I can use the booty call and try to find all the random objects. Is this the kitchen? Yeah. There she is. Power is a bright light that illuminates the darkness. But do not forget, a bright light also creates a shadow that is much darker. If I could choose, I would pick a gentle light that envelops me softly. Now let me get back to my trash can soup. I swear that looks like a trash can and not the correct texture. Alright, get down to the first level. Alright, is there anything that I need to uh, worry about? Not really. You're saying the same thing. You're the one that I need to talk to about arms. Yes, please reload. Be seeing ya. Anyway. I'm going this way this time. Variety is the spice of life, right? All right. We're on our own again. So first off, I want to go back to Maria Bull so I can use the booty call. Because I meant to do that while I was there before and just completely forgot. This will help me find random things at least. Nothing in town itself. That's not what I was expecting to hear. Admittedly, because each house is its own sector, I have to reuse booty call in each of them. Eh, forget it. It's not worth it. Pfft. All right. Southwest of the castle. Nope. No. Probably in this forest. Yep, oh, I was standing on it. Leo? 
I still don't know what's up with the weird glitch. That's got to be from the... Mm, nah, I don't feel like attacking. So this is a reprise theme from Wild Arms 1. It's not the correct reprise theme, but it is a reprise theme. See? Silverland control, Dragon's Vein. The generator's productivity is at its established rate, nor is it permitted by the regulatory board. To guarantee smooth operation, we'll temporarily freeze the function of the live reflector. You can also go to Maria Bull, which is where we're at now. So, Sacred Forest. Our destination there is Dragon's Vein. And the last one is the other Silverland control, which is Ruins Mine. Okay. Mm, I must have missed something. There's got to be something else in here. Is there like a side room or something that I missed? Yep. Ah, uh, camera angles. Evidence that someone broke in here. Who else would come in here besides us? It's gotta be... I wonder if it's those terrorists from before. Hmm, it could be the Odessa. <sighs> Let's hurry, but keep your guard up. And it's the three of them. Hey, you guys, what are you doing in here? Exploring, of course. I've decided that when I grow up, I'm, I'll be strong like you, dude. You're stupid, Tony. Turn back now. You already you know, don't you? It's dangerous in here. My humble opinion. There's something wrong about sending us back alone when it's so dangerous. Well, the way you're speaking isn't very cute at all. I don't understand that one. Oops, I got scolded by an older woman. Then, who got here before us? It's probably those kids. So, what are you going to do? Oh, well, we have no choice. We have to protect them. They'll have to come with us until our mission is finished. Darn. You don't trust us much. In reality, we've got this far on our own strength. You literally walked one room. My humble opinion. It wasn't our own strength, but the strength of Tim. Huh? Um... Oh well. Bloop. We have a full party. Except they're not playable. Yet. Here's the operating system display. Alright, I gotta start up the live reflectors. <laughs> What? What? That's so disheartening. Uh, it just turned purple. I made a big light. It looks like something's coming out of there. Is it a monster? Yep. Thunderbolt Battle Monster El Elabart. Not Elbart. My, 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 my humble opinion, rather than a monster, it would be appropriate to, for it to be called a creature. It's getting bigger. Oh, it doesn't keep growing. That would have been sad. Are you scared, Scott? You changed the way you talk. Uh, no time for that. We've got to get away. It's dangerous here. Ashley! Ah, uh, yeah, hey, stand back! Okay, let's go. 
Despite your baby face, you've got guts. It's not that. So, if you haven't figured out by the fact that he had a portrait, Tim is our one of our next characters. Normally, in this point of the game, Tim would be significantly stronger than the party. So, that's a thing. All right. Just attacking for a bit. Boop. 81 damage. It's not great. And Ashley's dead. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to do anything. Rank is what this would be weak against. This is the electricity enemy. I don't know if the arms are weak. So as we found out, the torso can have a different weakness than the arms. Never mind, the arms definitely weak. Punch! Stun gun blow! Bonk. That's not really all that strong. So the reason why we're going after the claws, unlike what we were doing before, is that one, the people who are up, it's perfectly fine for them to gain experience. And two, they actually have good rewards. So each individual object can have their own reward, as in loot. And the loot from this enemy, I believe, are strength apples, which we're going to need because Ashley is a weak as a newborn kitten right now. And he's going to need to fight a boss battle by himself. Yeah, this is going to go well. Elebolt Corrida! That actually hurt. Lock on, bazooka. Oh, we got rid of one claw. Let's break the next claw. Bum, bum. Where are my claws? Achievement unlocked. All right, it's time to actually heal Brad. Heal. Lock on. Two. Pop. I don't know what that noise was. A brink. Bonk, bonk, bonk. Brad Ponch! Oh no, belly flopping Lilka! Eh, she's fine. I think. Do I actually have any revives before? I yes, I do actually have two revive fruit, just in case. Explosions! Ah! Wow, we got two bosses in one video. Got 2,800 2, XP, 2,800 Gela. Brad leveled level 12. They both leveled up twice. And two Strength Apples. Nice. Achievement unlocked. Thunderbolt Battle Monster Elabart. It seems those guys siphoned the energy from the power reactor. Mm, that was the wrong place. Then we should be okay, right? It's not working. It's like there's no power at all. Is it because of that monster? Hey, not moving? If so, can't we just give it some energy? But what do live reflectors run on? Wow! We're able to get here because of this mysterious power. Tim, what is this power? I don't understand it either, but, but the amulet my mother left me, the medium, the guardian of life, the Odoryuk medium is opening up. That's right! 
Tim has a freaking guardian on him. Uh, like two meters in the sky. Tim, Tim! Ah, uh, I broke my legs. Maybe. Well, thanks to you, the power reactor's been revived. It only took you falling, like, two meters. But that power, what is it? Um, my mother told me that the medium's power is concealed. I wonder if that's it. I don't think concealed is the correct word here. I think that's a translation error, but I don't know. I don't know what they meant. Oh, huh? thank you very much. I'm fine now. Ashley, are you in the middle of a mission? You better hurry. Um, but, but, hey, don't worry, dude, leave Tim to me. Besides, that light will protect me. Getting back to the town of Maria from here is easy. We're off schedule. The Silverland ruling family, we can't get there any later. When the mission's over, I'll be home immediately. Don't do anything like this while we're still away, okay? Get the message. While they're away, we, the Young Arms, will maintain peace in the town of Maria. That's right, they're the Young Arms. That's what I'm warning you against. Uh... Bloop. It's fine, probably. Yep, so we have to activate the live reflectors in each of the locations. So they are slightly different from Wild Arms 1 because, but um, this part does not at all look different, but there are more than one satellite now. There is more than one, not there are. So they keep saying that each Wild Arms game is in its own parallel universe. Um, and while events from the previous Wild Arms games still happen, they didn't necessarily happen exactly the way they appeared. And the live reflectors are one of the first indicators of that's not the way that was in Wild Arms 1. There was also an extra moon. Anyway. Uh, let's see. And the Vol Varukius is now fully equipped. Hmm. When the, considering the energy expenditure for takeoffs, frequent use is impossible. Our most serious enemy is now is probably financial. Hmm. The one who's considering making the world an enemy. Hmm. Life's hard. That's because Ptolemy's plant is not operating as planned. Proceed with the report. Yes, sir. Currently, the alchemic plant is operating at above 60%. So we have to... We do have extra energy to divert to the Verkius. Yes, but we still have the Heimdall Gazo to work on, so it's not over yet. Hmm. Everything is... Everyone who sees the black wings of the Verkius is overwhelmed. It's clear the flights are an effective method to convey the menace of Odessa. Telemia! Our most important task is to bring the plan to 100% and do it as soon as possible. Yes, I'll take care of it. Mm, you look busy, or tell me, do you prefer boredom? Care to take play? Mm, sorry, care to take trade places? Well, how about it, Judica? I think I'll pass. That's beyond my jurisdiction, so. Mm, only fun work my way. <clears throat> my job, apologies for being late, but I have an update. I don't know why they switched back to using the phrase red-haired girl instead of their name, given that we've had introductions to all of them at this point. Let's hear it, Antonora. Ah, uh, yes. 
The group attacking the Verkius before takeoff has been identified as the unit called the Arms. Did you say arms? Mm, weren't they the used in the demon summoning experiment? Yes. Maria Bull's special unit arms of independent authority was annihilated when they were formed. The arms that attacked us this time were not an ordinary unit. No, we should still call them the same unit. Huh? I don't get it. Can you explain that to me again? Part of the annihilated arms were organized into a private unit. Is that clear? Their non-alliance status makes it appear as if they're independent. We have verified that it, the buyer is low-level nobility. Hmm. In other words, the arms are now a rich person's hobby. Even so, they act like they're the allies of justice. I hate that kind of stuff. It's offensive. Either way, they're no match for us now. No need to pay attention to... <laughs> but they are worth using. If they're hostile to us, we should just let them be so. They're allies of justice, but what will happen when they're beaten to a pulp? The masses who witness this will fear Odessa's power. They'll have no choice but to accept our power. The arms will have, pl will have them performing plenty of pathetic antics. Oh, we've traced their activity. They're off toward Silverland. Hmm, I've been waiting for this. It's just the job for me. Judica! Do you disapprove? If so, I can skip it. No, that's fine. Welcome them in as grand of a manner as possible. <coughs> Our enemy is our finances. <laughs> That's a good one, Kana. If I spoke too freely, freely, please excuse me. I'm not criticizing. In fact, I commend your assessment. But there's no need to be concerned. Leave the financing to me. Is it that man again? So, one thing that you may have picked up on in that conversation, I don't know if this is a translation error or not, is that um, one of them was trying to shield us, if you didn't notice. He was trying to say that we should just ignore their existence and just don't worry about them at all, because he views us as a bunch of kids. And he doesn't want to hurt people. It's a sign that maybe they're not quite as unified as they first appeared. But we shall see. First, we have to go. I must hurry. Silverland Castle's in the middle of the forest. Time to go all blurry. Oop, mandatory battle. Are you the correct enemies? Please tell me you're the correct enemies. Dwegar and Mantrap. Is it Mantraps? Yes, it is Mantrap. Okay, so we are now going to be keeping Ashley at full health for a bit. Although, I don't know if Ashley can even take a hit now that I'm thinking about it. Well, we'll heal him anyway, just in case. Oh, derp, I meant to have him use Defensor. So he wouldn't take a hit. That would have made sense. Oh, can actually can survive. Neat. I stab it for far less than anybody else. Defensor. Brad, punch that. Lilka, heal Ashley because I don't know how much damage he can take.
That's the wrong character, dang it. So, that's the status effect I'm trying to have inflicted on Ashley. What it does is that it makes it where you don't gain XP. Which means that we can actually have Ashley be useful. Or, at the very least, shove him in the back row so we don't have to constantly have him die. So random encounters are no longer a pain in the butt. I don't mind having everybody forgetful right now. Because I can always remove it from Lilka and Brad. Fencer. Just everybody else defend. Oh, I should probably have Loki heal herself now I think about it. Oh well. 13. Okay, that's much better. And Loka, just heal yourself. Eleven. Heal Brad. So yeah, we're going to be doing this quite a bit. Because this is the most convenient spot in the game to actually... There we go. That's what I wanted to have happen. Sweet. So now what we do... Is shove Ashley in the back row. And then kill the man trap. So only Brad got that XP, but that's fine. So now Ashley is afflicted with a status effect and shoved in the back row. We are constantly going to have him do that. Uh, do I have... Oh, that's right. I needed to use these on Ashley. Hmm, plus two strength each. Interesting. Uh, no. I'm going to have to buy it in Silverland, I bet. There it is. Silverland Castle. Do I have any control yet? Nope. We're going to have to do more plot. Sorry for this one. I'm probably going to end up running late. I've come from bearing a royal letter from the King of Mariabool. Hmm. I heard rumors, but I had... Idea. Fighting force with no allegiance to any country? Huh, very interesting indeed. Also, you're mercenaries. It does seem like an effective way to counter Odessa, which is also operates as a separate entity. And yet... I don't think I can accept what's written in this letter. Cannot so easily allow free access to our country's live reflector. If you of arms have permission to come and go as you like, our people might come to doubt of their security. After all, why should I consider you of arms any different from Odessa? Question. Your Highness, you see... I know, I know. You want to defeat Odessa, as it says right here. <sighs> it's only reasonable for the powerless to fear the powerful. I have no guarantees that you will not begin acting like Odessa once you have free access to my country. You see my point? This is one of the first leaders of a nation in an RPG that actually makes sense. Ah. Uh. <sighs> I see. I'm terribly sorry, but I can't accept your proposal. Please convey that to the King of Mariabool, along with my greetings. Oh, wait, it was actually Sir Valeria who proposed this, wasn't it? Only he could have come up with an idea as novel as an independent fighting force, because Phil Guy has never seen mercenaries in its entire existence, apparently. Please tell him to come visit me with his lovely sister. Not arms. Thus wishes the Queen of Silverland. Welp. I understand, Your Highness. I have an emergency report! Oh, uh, please forgive your highness. Uh, never mind, what's so important? Oh yes, there's been a terrorist attack in the Silverland town of Helmets. Reports suggest that it was the terrorist band... Odessa! Your highness! Even if we put out a call to arms now, our knights won't be able to assemble in time. 
Well then, shall we see just how fast our independent fighting force is then? With pleasure! Let's go, everyone! When we meet such grave danger, nothing should keep us apart. That's the obvious conclusion now that I think about it. I wonder when it was that I forgot the two strength comes from joining together. But... Uh, Your Highness, is there something the matter? Is something the matter? Oh, no, nothing. So what do you think of them? They seem very honorable to me, Your Highness. So no signs of ulterior motives. I believe they're simply acting for the common good. That's right! In an RPG, they don't immediately assume that you're the big, big bad. They don't assume that you're evil. They're being, they're approaching things with an abundance of precaution, but also recognize that you're actually just trying to be nice. This is the first sign of things that don't quite match all of the RPG cliches. I believe you're correct. They're indeed honorable and their desire to protect Phil Guy is genuine. Of course, that's also part of what makes me nervous. Because every country has skeletons in their closet, right? Cheap and unlocked. Posty! Talk about conquering the world, but that won't happen as long as we're around. If they try anything in spite of us, we'll just have to show them the error of their ways forcibly. Charge you with the Talon of Helmets. It's the town east of Silverland Castle. We'll follow as soon as preparations are complete. Uh, there's something here, isn't there? Well, not in this room, but... Or this room, apparently. Yep. This is awful. You can hear him snoring from a league away. He wouldn't wake up if Odessa came and shook his hand. can ring the bell by pulling the cord on that pulley, but please don't ring it without cause. Nope, ringing it right now. What, 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 what? What's going on? What's going on? What happened? Is it an emergency? Oh, it's just a bunch of angsty teens. It's fine. Now we can go back and actually get that treasure chest. Boom, 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 boom. Bum, 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 bum. Red cap acquired. Uh, that is probably for... Yeah. Definitely going to need the defense eventually. Yeah, I can actually equip him with that now because he's going to ha be forgetful. So we're fine there. Going to helmets, are you? It's far to the east of here. Never forget visual checks. Cool. But we are actually going to save this here, and I'm going to start. <clears throat> We're going to go to helmets next time. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and well, talk to you next time. <sighs> Bye. Do 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 do